D2DNY Real World HVAC Simplified and now in this video I'm going to be talking about tools you need as a beginner okay so I'm going to go over all these tools you see right here on the table and um, approximately what all this costs okay yeah so like I said I'm going to go over all this here on the table and approximately you know what all these cost the cost of all of this and I, and I assure you uh, this is going to be within the ballpark of about $500 you know or $450 to $500 US okay so as a beginner your first day on the job right you better have these in your toolbox all right as a beginner straight out of school the first day on the job you better have these in your toolbox or toolbox okay um yeah um, th this right here is a backpack you know uh you i mean you guys see me in my channel uh if you guys watch my channel if you subscribe um this is my box right here okay you've seen that uh, you don't have to go start it off or start out with this right here you can start just with this right here this is good enough so i got a lot of creative things going on i got planes passing i got the dogs barking neighbors dogs that is i don't have any dogs um but yeah let's get back to it so you just you know just to start off this is all you need right and this is coming from a pro who've been at this for almost 20 years if you got this in your toolbox when you're starting off your very first day on the job very first day right um and even if you're a do-it-yourselfer you want to get some hvac tools just want to do service you want to service your own equipment just service then this is good right this is not end all be all because there's a lot more equipment involved with doing hvac but if you have this as a beginner you're off to a good start so the first thing right here is my gauge manifolds and you can see here you know uh, these particular hoses did not come with it these are yellow jacket hoses but um, this set right here I got from APCO refrigeration supplies and this was about um, it was about a hundred dollars with hoses comes with a little, nice little case too nice little carrying case okay then right here you got my multimeter and um this one here um guys you don't have to buy this one as first you this don't have to be your first meter um this was about 170 dollars a buck 70 on amazon all right but you can get something way cheaper at like 70 dollars less or even for 70 dollars or 70 80 bucks you know i'm mean, really decent but this right here um cost about a buck 70 on amazon right now all right so you got some cheaters right here not cheaters these are jumpers so in case you want to like bypass your thermostat jump out the terminal blocks you know or jump um the compressor jump the fan just to test while you're doing your troubleshooting or servicing you only some of these okay here you have your uh pocket thermometer now this right here guys you can use this coupled with your gauges right here and um you'll be able to measure superheat all right so you don't have that fancy uh field piece or the testos 557s with the you know wireless sensors and stuff like that because you just start now right this is like a beginner's first day on the job right so you can use this with your pt chart you're going to use this with the pt chart on here and you're going to measure your superheat and your subcooling you start now it's good enough okay this right here you must have because this is like a thermostat screwdriver if you do like a low voltage stuff controls you know terminal blocks you're gonna need this uh, if you're doing thermostats you're gonna need one of these okay all right right here you got your uh tape measure you're definitely gonna need this because if you got to measure the filter sizes you know sometimes you got the wrong filters in the unit you need to have a tape measure to measure the filter sizes um, you got the Allen keys, you got the SAE, and a metric, standard and metric. Um, 
a little tube cutter right here. This goes up to, uh, I think this goes up to what? Uh, I think uh, one eighth. Uh, this is one eighth right here. Yeah, I think it goes up, this goes up to one eighth of an inch, which is really, it's really good for a beginner. Um, so you got this screwdriver right here. It has bits in the top. Right, these are the, the bits in the top right here. And you can see, got Phillips flat, Phillips flat, and you can really buy these. These are cheap. You can get a whole set of these for like five dollars, <clears throat> five dollars US. So you got endless bits. You're gonna need this because sometimes you need a Phillips or a flat or even a T bit, right? So you stick them in here. It's magnetic. I'll show you. I'll demonstrate. So you see, I have a T bit in there right now. I say T bit. No, oh, this thing is magnetic. See, so you can't, it won't fall out. But this is good, and it's also a ratchet as well. It's a ratchet action. It's a ratchet. Pretty cool <clears throat> for a beginner. So this is, I mean, even for a pro. And this right here, I got from Home Depot. This is from Home Depot as well. This is from Home Depot. This is from the refrigeration supply, Apco. Or I think it was John's, John Stone, I don't know. But um, this was like 25 bucks. These were like, uh, I think like $15. Um, this right here, I think it was like $8 or something like that. This was about 25 bucks. These are pretty cheap. These are like a few bucks to get for these wires. You get a whole pile. You get like a whole... Uh, I think you got like six or five wires for like ten dollars, so these are not these are not really expensive. You're gonna want to you're gonna want to get one of these right here. These are I mean I use these every day, right? This is this is what we call ten in one or eleven in one. I think this is a see you got a, you got a three eighths, three eighths in one hand, three eighths, five sixteen quarter Phillips. Um, small Phillips, you got a flat, if I pull that out, you got a flat in there. So this right here is like a, a special tool for, uh, I don't even know what you use this for. <laughs> but you can see, um, let me pause and pull apart. So you see, these are all the pieces, right? This is the handle right here, and this was from Home Depot. This was like about 10 bucks. You got this piece right here, you can use as a quarter. You got a flat, you got a Phillips, all in one screwdriver. Uh, small, uh, smaller Phillips and a smaller flat, smaller. And this right here is like a core remover tool, which is pretty dope. It's in there on the screwdriver. And then you got, this is a 516 nut drive. This is a 3 8 nut drive. All in that one screwdriver, right? like 10 bucks all right so you got right here got your dedicated what is it, a 516 yeah this is a 516 dedicated 516 this is like eight dollars or so ten dollars no, it's client so it's expensive stuff but you don't have to buy this you don't have to buy this to start you can get the cheaper ones just to give you an idea what you need your first day on the job fresh out of school first day on the job also, if you're fresh out of school or trade school, you gonna also need to be subscribed to my channel, right? So you can get videos like this and smash that bell icon, all right? Yeah, so if you're fresh out of school, you're a beginner, you need to be subscribed to my channel because I do upload videos on a weekly basis and um, there's lots of information, lots and lots of information for you there. Um, so where are we at now? So we got these, we got a, we got a, we got a uh, 516 right there. This one right here, the quarter. This is client, so it's it's a little bit pricey just for a nut driver, but you can get cheaper brand if you like because you just remember you're a beginner, you're fresh out of school, first day on the job, or you may have some experience, but you don't know what tools to get to get started. Well, you're going to need everything you see in this table right here if you're going to do a service, right? To handle a service call, you're going to need everything you see in this table to be able to handle any service call, all right? So, where was I? So, I... um. When I said any service call, so as a beginner, 
you're not going to be going you're not going to be going on the critical stuff right you're going to be doing the simple stuff the light calls right so then the the, 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 the pros in the company they will be doing the big stuff the heavy stuff right the heavy lifting so when you start it off if you got all this right here you'll be good obviously you don't have a mega meter or mega ohm tester you don't have a uh a, a, a mama meter am i saying it right mama meter that checks static pressures and stuff but that's for when you are up in your career right but anyways so right here you need you got you need some wire cutter wire stripper and it's coupled that coupled as a crimper as well Right, so you can crimp the terminal connectors like stake horns, forks, the rings. It's done over here. You can cut, you can strip. You can also like bend wires over here too. And I think you think you could cut like small um, screws in here. I usually don't recommend that because I've tried it before and it kind of like messed up my uh, my pliers. All right, so that's like about fourteen bucks. Now here are some bits. I don't know if I'm calling it the right name, but especially the T bits, right? You're going to need some of those. Like, you need to have a set of these, right? And it goes good. This screwdriver right here. So, these are pretty cheap, guys. You can get a whole set of these for probably about five bucks online or even at Home Depot, right? So, get some of these. If you got this screwdriver right here, it's dope. And you can also remove this piece to make it shorter if you like. Same function. Okay. I got a, you got a small adjustable wrench, small adjustable wrench, um, you got a large adjustable wrench, um, these are, how much did I pay for these, I think this come, this came in a set together, um, I don't remember, I think, I don't think it was more than 20, 20 bucks though, right, so I think it's about 20 bucks or so, or, yeah, right, but again, you don't have to get this exact brand, this brand is probably a little bit pricey because it's crescent, okay all right then you're going to want to have um some opening speedies this is these are a must right because if you're doing a like motor replacement you do the motor motor right you do the compressor you got bolts and nuts yeah you're gonna, you're, you're gonna need to set of these so this set here is actually is this brand is uh Duralas, so it's actually an automotive brand that sells automotive stuff. But it doesn't matter. I've had this, I had, I've had these for a while, and they work beautiful. Works beautiful. Okay. Also, also, yes, this this little brush right here. You don't need this. You're gonna brush down your um, condenser coil or your evaporator coil. The brush clean that. Brush off the dirt and dust off of it. It's like a couple of bucks. At Apco, you don't need a knife. Uh, doesn't have to be doesn't have to be like this particular knife. Could be any type of blade. Something that's cheap because you're starting off. You, know, you ain't got much money. Um, this was like about um, I think it was like about twenty bucks. Uh, this whole set I think was about uh, thirty-five or so or forty. All right, so you're gonna, you're gonna need a pipe wrench. Okay. This one right here is aluminum, and um, this is you gotta pull strainers. You gotta if you're dealing with water cool units, you gotta pull strainers and stuff. Um, you can do a little bit of gas piping, gas line, steam piping, stuff like that. You know, you need a pipe wrench, and you're gonna need a channel lock. No, no this this pipe wrench was. Uh, I think about 20 25 dollars or so at Home Depot. And this one here is a channel lock, which is pretty cool because you can just press this button right here and it slides up and down like that. So it's uh you know, but you don't have to get this exact one. This one is a little bit pricey. Okay, you could get a cheaper one. Okay. Um that was I think it was about 25 bucks too. Not more than that, maybe between 20 and 25 bucks. I don't remember the exact numbers. All right, so yeah. Uh, what do you see on the table right here? So uh, what I was saying. Um, so yeah, I think I'm missing this one. This is uh, your service, oh yeah, this is, a, this is a must have. It's a service wrench, okay? Or a box wrench, oh, not a box wrench. <laughs> service wrench. Okay, and this, damn. 
I think you can, get, you can get one of these for about 15 bucks. Okay, 15 bucks, right? Service range. So this is going to be where you use to open your 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 uh, your B tank. The oxygen the oxygen acetylene, ox, oxyacetylene, oxyacetylene. Um, your service valves, right? On your on your, on your system, king valves, suction service valves, discharge service valves. Uh, well, so you can use these to uh, remove the uh, the square lock nut on like um, condenser fans, propellers, and like blower wheels, squirrel cage, the lock screws. Yeah, square. This this is perfect for that. All right, so yeah, guys, everything you see here, and of course you're gonna need a box or a bag. This is this bag right here. This is like I don't know, it's about it's like another twenty five or thirty bucks. All in all, right here, this what's on this table right here. If you want to get this exact setup here, you know you're looking at about four fifty to five hundred dollars. That's it. But like I said, you don't have to buy this exact brand. You could get a cheaper tape measure, a cheaper meter, a cheaper uh, 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 pocket thermometer. Okay, something cheaper. As a beginner, you just want to get in, but you can't get in if you have no tools, <laughs> right? So you need tools to get in. You just want to get in the door, start earning some money. So you don't have to be concerned too much. Oh, well, I got to get the most nicest tools, the most expensive tools. You just want to have the right tool. So foot in the door, first day on the job, straight out, of, straight out of trade school. Everything you see right here on this table, you're going to need. All right? If you're going to do service. All right? There's more tools to be had. But uh, as a beginner, first day in the job, this is good enough to you. Um, you guys, if you are subscribed, you, you must have seen my box, okay? And, you know, this is just, this, this got way more going on than what's on the table there. But, you know, obviously, this is a, this is, this, this is a pro, pro's box. Alright, so if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, subscribe. I do upload videos on a weekly basis. Yeah, HVAC. This is my HVAC service, my new service car. And go check out my channel on that channel. Check out my Instagram page. Okay.